All right, and then another one, uh, kind of to go in tandem. Nah, with dude, that's freaking Sam. That's Sam Jackson from Pulp Fiction, man. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, everybody, to the Collecting Brothers. I'm John, this is Josh. Welcome back to the Extra Figure Podcast, where we're breaking down all this week's toy news. Let's go ahead and jump in, friends. Our friends over at NECA, they gave us a full reveal here of the Casey Jones 2-pack, deluxe pack. Is Casey Jones with the dirt bike? Yeah, I know Tupac. <laughs> so, yeah, deluxe. <laughs> More dirt bike of the characters. But this is sick. Like, another chance at Casey Jones, a phenomenal mm-hmm. figure. Yeah. Does it come with like his the Elias head sculpt or no? Let's check it out here. So no, he does come with like like the removed helmet, but and he also comes with the hockey pads, which he, that's new. Oh, okay, that's hockey cool. Hockey pads that's are cool. new, so I think that's cool. But yeah, no Elias sculpt that is with the what is that like the it's summer the April, house? The yeah, farmhouse, the, the farmhouse. That farmhouse with April. That's yeah. funny, dude. Maybe he only said okay. I'll he bet you because April asked him. I bet you it was that. It's 100% because I bet Judith you, Hogue. Yeah, yeah, that girl, Judith Hogue, I bet because she asked him, she's like, just do it, please. And he's like, okay, fine. I'm only going to be right for this one pack, and that's it. Right. Yeah, I agree. I think it was Judith doing some of her magic and getting people to... She used her weight. She pulled her weight, yeah. <laughs> but I did want to talk about the bike here. So this bike, we were questioning, is it going to be the same as the John Connor bike? Yeah, and I was saying it should it, be the... T- it is indeed the John Connor bike. And I actually looked up this bike, and this is actually a the bike that was used in the movie, and uh, that this is modeled after is a... a Yamaha like XR100. So it's actually a 100cc bike. It's, it's you know, because John Connor's tiny. Yeah, guy. he's a kid. Yeah, he's, he's a kid. Good. So it's a 100cc bike. So it looks a little funny here uh, with big old Casey on it. But I mean, it, it works. It works. Yeah. It's like, it sucks, but it's not a deal breaker for me, you know? Oh, yeah. I, I, honestly, like, I wish we could get a, like, I feel like we never, I never even saw this. They never, it was only the con exclusive that thing, huh? They need yeah, to release yeah. uh, the young John Connor because even just without the bike, because that way I'll just buy the KC and get the bike and then just give me the single bike John Connor and I'll get the <laughs> exclusive. Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it makes sense because they're like, yeah. we're not going to mold the whole brand new bike for this. Just use the one we already made. And it's not even like repainted anyway. It's just a, the same dirt bike. <laughs> that's kind of funny though that's actually that's actually low effort right there though. <laughs> they're not even like repainted like at least a blue or something, you know? <laughs> but yeah, so. There is that, Casey. It's going to be a Walmart exclusive. So, like a lot of these are, but that's okay. Next, another Walmart exclusive. We're getting a rooftop battle, Leonardo. And he will be in a two-pack with the Shredder. And you're getting him. Just it looks like a different face scope on this um, on this Shredder. But basically that same, you know, the 90s Turtles movie, live action movies. Yeah, just with like a the shredder head sculpt, you know, that's kind of nice. Like I, I did, yeah, that's cool. Because the other one you couldn't remove it, right? Or could you? No, you couldn't. It was just a head. Yeah, you can remove it. Oh really? I never uh, removed mine. I didn't know that was a. I didn't know that was a possibility. <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap! What the heck? Yeah, you can take that metal plate off, and he does uh, have like a face, but this face is a lot better painted. Uh, okay. There's a lot more detailing in the scarring because like the original just has like the three scars that uh, Shredder Splinter gave him. That's kind of it. This one like has more depth to it, at least from this photo. Yeah, but battle damage rooftop, you know, like a battle. This is Leo. When do we get the rest of the turtles? <laughs> right, right. The only thing though is like maybe the, oh I I know what they'll do they'll do a two pack maybe with two turtles and then they'll do another two pack with turtle and like maybe a battle damage foot clan soldier or they'll just do foot clan soldier and turtle two packs. Here's what I want. Okay, you giving me Leo with a rooftop battle, you know, shredder. I need a Mikey. Battle rooftop, you know, rooftop battle Mikey with the Danny and, and you know, final scene Danny. Okay. And then I need a Raph with a final battle. Um, this is like a deep cut, but they've shown that they do deep cuts. That's Sam Rockwell's character. I do not want Sam Rockwell's character. I want a, I want a young Sam Rockwell character. Okay. So that's too deep of a cut. That's just a useless figure. No they did, they did literally the garbage man from a scene that wasn't even in the movie. Oh, uh, that one's like true. That's, that that's, that's the creator. That's the Yeah, that's what I want. I want. I want another shot at Danny. No, I think that one. I agree with you. I think mm-hmm. making Danny that loot crate exclusive. Like I have it, but I still think just for everybody, I feel like Danny is such an integral part to this movie and to the story mm-hmm. that they knew need to find a way to like just make a new version so that that way the exclusive can stay exclusive. Who cares? But then, yeah. like you said, doing a final version maybe where he has like blood or he has like something different shirt. Yeah, no headband, something like that. Yeah. 
That's what I would like for sure. And the Sam Rockwell. I'll tell you what, Sam Rockwell, that's just you, buddy. Uh, but you know, you know, yeah, we'll see what else they do with the battle damage, the rooftop battle stuff. So we'll see. All right. There's everything you're getting with him. Uh, the Shredder stuff. We've seen it before. Yeah. Right? Same weapons, yeah. same pizza. Just a little bit of a paint job on him. And the face sculpt is different too. They always, they always do do different head sculpts on these turtles when they re-release them. So that's always nice. It's the same pizza that comes with totally right 80s there. Alf. <laughs> yeah, the Alf has a lot of crossover with him. He's got the TV, the pizza box, the water. I can finally finish my pizza. <laughs> yeah, enough pizza, it's fine. All right, next up, they're giving us a 40th anniversary Gremlins multi pack here. This is the evolution of a Gremlin. So you get like the base version when they get angry, and then when they you get him at what is it, water or sunlight? I can't remember, man. I only watched this movie like once or twice, dude. I don't know why, but I'm a sucker for this movie. It's one of my all time favorites. I just think the practical effects with it, just like the, the fun <laughs> horror aspect of it, because like it gets pretty crazy. Like, it uh, does. Like, it's like it seems like kind of like a you know, one of those classic 90s, 80s kids movies, but then it's like, holy crap, people are getting slaughtered out here. Like, what is going on? No, I love this pack and I love the idea behind it, like having you know, gizmo and then doing like where gizmo gets like angry right because the sunlight is what makes him angry sunlight, okay. and then the water is what makes him multiply that's why it's crazy when he gets like when stripe here he like goes like he they chase him into like a gym or like a school gym and he jumps in the pool and then he just boom freaking multiplies like a thousand all right but there's that multi fight i think it's fun yeah i agree with you getting some face plates for gizmo you getting them oh let's show what you get in here you get a little skateboard and as well as a chainsaw, which is fun, fun accessories, man. Yeah, and these are the exact same accessories that came with the original figures, right? So, like, nothing's yeah, changed. Yeah. It's kind of just, like, a re-release, you know, because mm -hmm. everybody needs Gizmo, everybody needs Stripe. Yeah. So, there we go. All right, let's jump over to McFarlane Toys. We got an all-star Western Jonah Hex here. So, it comes in with a... The white horse and a lighter jacket here. It's going to be that platinum edition, gold label, whatever it all is for that Jonah Hex already. Come back around. I really like the the dry brushing on the shirt and the jeans. I feel like it, it really like adds like a, a realism, I think, for this price point. You know, I think it came out mm -hmm. great. Yeah, no, I think it's good, too. And like another horse, too. Another McFarland horse. Different color. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, and then I wanted to throw in these photos here from the two-pack here, Doomsday and Superman from Batman vs. Superman, just to get a little bit of a size comparison. So we're looking at uh, Henry Cavill there is around seven inches, and so uh, Doomsday is going to be, what, you think in nine inches, you, you think he's hitting? Oh, yeah, for sure, nine inches, yeah, over nine inches. This is a big boy, man. It's a big, that's a big figure. That's going to be fun. Yeah, I, I'm excited for this Doomsday. Me personally, I feel like I would need to repaint it. I feel like the gold paint <laughs> is just slopped on there. You know, there's no, like, there's no gradient between it. It's just like harsh edge. And yeah. I feel like it, it kind of looks kind of bad. Okay. And the Henry Cavill, I mean, I'm not going to be complaining about the head sculpt. One thing I do appreciate, though, is I like that they got the color. For me, I think it looks right. Because I think figure arts and even when Mattel had the DC multiverse license, you know, when you think of Superman, they they just put the bright blue. And right, while right. that makes sense, that's not how he looks in Man of Steel and Batman vs. Superman. Like, it's like a, almost a right, black, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And yeah. So I like that at least. Like, I don't know. For me, I feel like this is like the first time I've seen an accurate blue on this Superman. Like the color of his blue in the movie. Where you're exactly. Being represented. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I agree with you on that, for sure. All right. And then we also got a little closer look at the Wonder Woman from Batman vs. Superman. Dude. You know, did the face get better? Yeah, I think the face did get better. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, we, it looks good. We were talking about the in-person shots, and I was like, it's all right. It's improved, but you know, I think this face looks pretty good. Yeah, no, I think, it, I think it's one of their best Gal Gadots that they've put out. And like seeing the whole figure now, it's 100% new sculpt, and the, I feel like the long leg issue is gone, and I love that they, the, the legs are no longer like, you know, a smooth leg. They're muscularized. Um, yeah, yeah. All right. Got a quick update on the HasLab here. Let's keep going. This, of course, is the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 HasLab that's currently funding. For, they're at 6,536 backers, so just above halfway for their goal. Remember, if they hit their goal in the first two weeks of the campaign, they will get, unlock Tully. Yeah, honey, I trick the kids, dude. Rick Moranis. Rick Moranis. <laughs> we love him. So, I mean, pretty good progress, man, for for only being up for five like a week. Five Where days so far, like five, six days. Yeah, that's good. That's good. It's gonna be close. We'll see if they hit it. I think we'll make it. It's gonna be close, but 
we just got to get the word out, guys. Like, if you're interested in this now, back now so we get that free figure. I backed this already. I got the freaking the Deluxe 400. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, so we'll see if they hit it. But yeah, we got ten, nine more days on this uh, for that two-week special, early bird special. All right, let's jump over to Diamond Slick. Some things we didn't cover, but I wanted to touch on from New York Comic Con. If you guys want a full breakdown on all those things, make sure you guys check out our latest videos. We kind of broke it down by brand. But there uh, released some Marvel Slick stuff. Uh, shout out to Paternia.com for these photos. But we're getting a Deadpool and Wolverine Deadpool. It's cool. I love the gold guns. I love that, you know, they can do guns. <laughs> they can do all the guns they want to do. Yeah. And then the uh, Wolverine as well. Now, the interesting thing on this Wolverine, is it looks like there might be swappable arms here. So some of the close-up shots show the skin tone arms and then the uh, full body show. Yeah, them. dude. No, that's, 100% swappable. So that's great because, like, that's something Marvel Legends didn't do. And, you know, it'd be hard for them to do um, at, just because that's how Hasbro does. But Cool that Diamond Select is doing that, getting that movie versions of the latest movie. Yeah, that's way awesome, you know, because you know, you know, Hasbro, like, even if they could do it, the the big hit, the big wigs are gonna be like, nah, 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 that's exclusive. That's the yeah, down second the line. release. Yeah, yeah. Uh, second release, maybe. No, I think the silhouettes, especially when I look at that Deadpool silhouette now, you know, it's kind of an off picture, but I mm -hmm. think that that I feel like they capture the proportions perfectly. Sometimes I feel like with Diamond, the proportions can be a little off, but no, I feel like there's like the heads right. The arms are right length. Everything's kind of the right length, I feel like. Cool. All right. Let's keep going here. They're also on, uh, just did a render for a Hobgoblin from Marvel Select. I mean, it's looking cool as well, man. Like, you get the glider. You get the perfect orange. I mean, I don't, you know, it is just drawing, but I right. love that Halloween orange, right? Yeah, yeah. It's so crazy that, like, you know, if you've been collecting the Diamond Select Spider-Man figures, it's been, like, 25 years in the making, and you still don't have like every like main character, but you're you're getting we're getting them like yeah, they're coming out. Rhino, Venom, Lizard, Green Goblin, Mysterio, oh, and nice. a hobby. That's it. We need Vulture, Electro. Yeah, I gotta get Vulture, Electro, Hydro and a Craven, Man, and a Craven, Man, Craven. Yeah. They got at least, at get, least, yeah, at least they'll get there. They'll get there in ten years, next ten years. Yeah. Next up, it looks like we're getting a new version here of Carnage, nice and big boy. He even has that weird. Like Todd McFarlane spawn neck, dude. Because yeah, this is kind of an older figure, which is why when you look at the pelvis joint, it's kind of like gappy. And that's because this is like uh, really old Marvel Select. This is like the initial, honestly, I think this figure is probably 10 years old wow. <laughs> that they're kind of updating. Because I think the spawn neck thing was not, and I've probably a couple of the tendril pieces didn't come with the original release, you know? Okay. Yeah, another shot here at the Marvel Select Carnage. Looking cool, man. It does look good, though. It's a good carnage. All right, let's jump over to Mezco Toys. First up, we got a tangerine. Uh, full reveal here. We kind of saw again little photos of her here and there. A badass for hire. Looking great. And here's what she's coming with. Part of the Rumble Society. They're doing some reveals for RumbleCon 2024. But, you know, just, you know, that, you know, like Pulp Fiction vibes, you know, exploitation movies, you know, that they did in the 60s and 70s. I don't know. No, I love this figure. Like, so is this an exclusive to like RumbleCon or uh no no it's just a reveal so it will be a general release generally it's good good no exclusive crap the good 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 <laughs> no yeah I, i'm in love with this figure like i gotta get it. i just think the whole vibe to it it's just something i think you know we've seen in movies before but we've never mm -hmm. seen something even remotely close to this in action figures true yeah 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 no it's a good vibe i love the pattern on her on her soft goods man i think that's just it ties the whole vibe together man <laughs> great point yeah and like that's like super intricate for sure all right next up we're getting alistair gangrene this just guy looks you know creepy and fun it's kind of like their sod cutter or even like you know just one of their fun little characters that they do in the rebel society but yeah looking cool with the iron mask and the fur get the soft goods there and a big old club that looks you know nice and spiky no they do so good with these you know if i could afford every rebel society like i just feel like <laughs> their characters are so unique and so creative like they yeah. do such a great job with these random characters that they do for the rumble society and like you know i kind of get like some like some nine vibes from it you know what oh I'm saying? Yeah, yeah especially with that face yeah it does look good. Oh, nice all right and then another one uh, kind of to go in tandem with uh, dude that's freaking savage that's sam jackson from pulp fiction man oh uh, we got gomez 1975 ancient gomez 1975 you know gee, yeah just to kind of play around with in that in that era he's got the big old fro he's got the leather black jet trench coat dude that's this awesome. is a fun 
fun Gomez here, man. And the mustache, right? Sam Jackson, dude. You know, have you ever seen Black Dynamite? It's a newer movie, but it's it's like paying homage to black exploitation movies from the from that era. And it's it's a funny movie. It's like it's more tongue in cheek. It's not actually doing anything serious. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's fun though. All right, next up we got a Baron Benz here in his Leviathan armor, and they did tease that the all those lights are gonna light up. I'm trying to think out if the chess piece is new or not. I think it must the be because they're providing yeah, this like Leviathan armor. Because yeah, mm-hmm. we've gotten like the blue Baron Benz, and we got the black version. So this is our third version, I think, just with an updated chest armor. Yeah. Yeah. So really cool there uh, for the Baron to get another try outside of him. He's a cool character, too. Like, uh, I like his armor. Like, his suit is really cool. Yeah. And it's and, nice because it's like yeah. there's soft goods still underneath it, you know? It's exactly. not just all plastic. Yeah. It's that it's blend. Like, yeah. Oh, love that blend. But then uh, <laughs> if you watch the, what was it, the Doc Nocturnal little stop motion they did, some of his like antagonists in that little short uh, stop motion animation that they did were the the Crab Brothers there, the Prawn Brothers back there, you know, the Mafia Brothers. Uh, but we're also getting Crab Louie. And I love Crab Louie, man. A little sailor boy. He's got a big old fish hook for a hand, you know. He talks like this out the side of his mouth. Dude, yeah. Oh, man, I'm in love with this stuff. Like, I would love kind of just... And I think it would go so well, like, if you have the, you know, pre like, Previous the Rumbly Society, they made like, this guy. What was his name? Cap- Captain Nemo. Oh yeah, Captain like, Nemo. Yeah. Dude, yeah, like this would go well. Like it's like these guys mm-hmm. are villains to him, you know. That'd be mm-hmm. sick. He'd be fighting them under the water. That's a good voice, man. That's a good one. You gotta get yeah. that one now. There's Crab Louie. Yeah, I love the little sailor hat too. The little... <laughs> yeah, little swashbuckler. Yeah, I love that. All right, and then we talked about this one. We saw some pictures of him in his leather jacket, but we got Doc Knox Butler, you know, his Alfred. So we got his name is Woodford. Woodford. He comes in a, you know, beautiful little tux, you know, uh, Butler suit with a little bit of, I don't know what Doc's drinking there, but maybe something. Some blood. Yeah. Some blood. Uh, but he's articulated too, right? Like, as we saw, he can, he can, he can dish it out, right? And he does have a patch eye there. So that means that other one that we saw with the, the brown leather jacket is like some type of you know, attachment that he could switch to. So I don't know if he'll come with that separate soft goods. I hope, or you know, we'll see what it is. This, but this is the one that they are showing off currently in the tuxedo suit. But he he looks fun. He looks. Yeah, that's cool. I bet we're gonna get like just like we got multiple versions of Baron and multiple versions of Doc Nock. We're gonna get multiple versions of this. So don't worry. <laughs> it's not gonna be like nighttime nighttime mission, daytime mission, right. night missions. So that's fun to get it. Woodford there. Woodford. Next up though, Doc Nock, dude. They're really filling up that line. You got his enemies, you got his butler, and you're also getting a vehicle, the Land Reaper. This is cool, man. You know, just very uh, true to that Doc Knox aesthetic, just nice, fun, and, and uh, exaggerated. But yeah, this thing is pretty cool. This thing's loaded with features, too, man. What, what do you think? Ha- oh, okay. Yeah. So it's got real rubber tires. Okay. That was one thing they had solicited. Ah. It has uh, suspension in the back, like an actual spring suspension in the back. Okay. And you can, it has a battering ram that like can be forced forward. So like that whole front piece of the car shoots forward. It has a winch that actually works. So you can like wind things up, pull it up things. It also has a pop-up machine gun that you can pop up from the hood of the car. Dude, as that's well. the best one right there. And as well as some lights and sounds, of course. Yeah, yeah. I just like the pop-up machine gun, baby. But yeah, let's take a look at this car, man. I, I love the little detailings that we're getting a little antenna in the back. Put Doc in there just cruising around on his trike, dude. Yeah, I think to get this would be so, so much fun just because of how many play features there are, you know, because as kids, you know, we all love, bought for toys for play features. So that's how kids were like toys were marketed more that's so true. than anything, you know, to yeah. have a cool play, play feature, like, the punch action. And so for how much of this is packed in, like the winch, the little suspension, I just feel like, you know, it'd be fun to have on your desk to just push and bounce it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just to kind of have a run and like play yeah. around with. I think it's it's cool too. Especially like you're coming in for the landing, like when you go, boom, you know, <laughs> yeah. bottom out the suspension. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's going to be fun, fun toy to play with. Yeah, so really cool there. All right, that'll do it for Masco. Let's jump over to SH Figure Arts. We got a full solicitation of that uh, DBZ cover homage 40th anniversary of Dragon Ball so, uh, with the uh, Chibi Shenron, Shenron and the Kid Goku, man. Really just paying homage to that cover, which is beautiful, man. It's going to be $73. Currently, it is exclusive to V-Jump magazine subscribers. So if you're subscribed to that magazine, there's going to be an issue here later on that has an order form inside of it. You take that out, rip it out, order it if you want it, and then you get the figure back. They did. Now, this is like only for people who live in Japan. 
right? We talked about kind of its exclusive to Japan. They did mention here, though, that a later water release will be coming later, but they're doing that a little bit of an exclusive there. For... That's really good, man. That's really good to hear because, man, this looks beautiful. Like, you know, even like, you know, there's sometimes there's figures that transcend the action figure community. And I feel like this is one of them. I feel like with the base, with the homage to the manga, V Jump Stonks, dude, they went off the rails when they showed this. Like, I feel like people even who don't collect are just Dragon Ball fans, you know, and there's so yeah. many of them. It's like one of the most iconic anime out there. Just to have this as a centerpiece, I feel like everybody's going to want this. Yeah, like this is like you can sit this in front of your manga books that you have or maybe your DVD, DBZ collections. Like this yeah. is just so perfect, man. That Shenron is just like the cutest thing in the world. Right. I think, it, I think it helps too because it's like, you know, a normal person is not going to want a foot tall Shenron. You know, it's just, yeah, I yeah, you know, like we want that. But a normal Dragon Ball fan is like, where am I going to put this? So I think this is perfect for like the non-collector. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just like the more the general consumer of Dragon Ball. Yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, here's everything you're getting with him, though. Like a bunch of hair pieces, two face sculpts, three, sorry, four face sculpts. His little, looks like it comes with batons, his bow staff, of course. And then all those fun, fun hands, dude. Yeah, this is, this is, this is amazing. And yeah, you, can get, you can get a lot of combinations because if you think about it, like there's three bangs and then two back hair pieces. So you get a lot of combinations with that. Yeah, that's true. All right, let's keep going. As each figure out, giving us a king from Tekken. This guy was teased, right? But it's fun to get this guy fully revealed. And he's looking fun, dude. Like a lot of cool intricacies in his armor pieces. The feathers have a really cool like gradient in the, the paint job. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it looks good, dude. And uh, yeah, like look at the lacing on his boots. Put in some work on this figure, man. Yeah, they knocked it out of the park. Everything from sculpt to paint to proportions. You know, I like that the head is small as it should be. You know, <laughs> like when right. I get what this character has a small head and they represented it perfectly. Here. <laughs> here he is doing a cold stone stunner. Boom. <laughs> so yeah, I think they did a really good job, dude. Even look at that. Even sculpt on the bottom of the boot. Like, you see that with the paw print? Oh uh, yeah, that's true. Attention Dang. to detail. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, they did a really good job on this. Um, the cape is going to have an articulate, it's going to be articulated to get that kind of aesthetic to go uh, around it. But yeah, dude, just insane details on this King figure. And maybe they just put it more, a little more attention into him because he is you know, a little more, a little more popular. He's the cover. He's the cover. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I mean, gotta get, gotta give the cover boys. Uh, yeah. Too. So really cool, man. Yeah, I thought this was a fun, fun announcement and a reveal. All right, so let's keep it going. SH Figure Arts, we got that full solicitation for the Last Dance Venom. It's going to be $80 here. And again, he was looking good in those photos that we saw. And he's, he's looking, he's still looking good here, man. A lot of fun articulation, tendrils. This is good. This is cool. How much is this? 80? 80. Yeah. You know, usually Figure Arts can justify, I feel like, the price because the, the quality from them and a Hasbro figure is worth it. But for some reason, when it came to Hasbro, Hasbro's Venom and Carnage, they went off the chart with those figures. Like, honestly, if you do a side-by-side comparison, of course, the size is going to be different. Mm. But, like, the wetness, the lines, the details, the sculpt, I feel like the Legends is so good that even though maybe the figure arts maybe is, like, 5% better, it's like, why would you pay four times as much for 5% right. better, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, like, this is good, but it's like the Legends was so good that Legends is a bang for your buck. I'll take that right now, guys. <laughs> yeah, that, that original Venom, right? Uh, figure. Yeah. Oh my gosh, one of the best think, figures. Yeah, and they re-released it as a Target exclusive with like some head tendrils yeah. right now for their movie. I think the proportions on that one are like spot on with uh, with Venom from Mafia. You know, you're right. I think they're even better than this one because I feel yeah. like this one, the, sh- the shoulders should be broader or the thigh should be thinner because I feel like he has more triangular build. And this mm-hmm. one's kind of more not as much trying. Like, I need I need a little more girth on the on the lower rib cage to kind of get that silhouette because here it kind of comes in too quickly yeah. and then juts out. Like I want that, like you know, like you were saying, triangle, right? That gradient. You're right. Yeah, and and then the Marvel Legends Carnage was just so big, man. I think was, I think it was nice. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, there is that SH figure. It's a little bit of a size comparison in it here for like a normal figure arts figure. He is gonna be a big boy. It's a big boy. All right, let's jump over to Mayfix. Mayfix has given us full solicitation for everyone's favorite Jubilee here. Jubilee in that soft goods trench coat, dude. 
I love it, man. Rebel, who's it? Is it Rebel One Customs? Yeah, Rebel One Customs has been doing soft goods uh, Jubilee capes for a while. Uh, but that is, you know, for the Marvel Legends. But we're getting this for, from Mayfix here. And honestly, I love how matte and pastel the colors came out for Jubilee here, man. Yeah, there really is nothing to complain about. Like, I think it's executed perfectly. Soft goods where you want them. Hard plastic where you want them. Sculpt where you need it. Sculpt where you don't. Effect pieces. Face looks great. Even getting blue highlights in the black hair. Like, I don't know. Yeah, it's just for me, this is the perfect figure. Like, I'm willing to pay 80, 90, whatever this, this however this much cost. I don't yeah. care. It, it looks really, really good. I think they did a really good job here. And it being Mayfix, it's going to move nice and buttery smooth. And I think especially because, like, you know, kind of like the opposite with the Venom. Sometimes when you have a more of a lackluster legend or some like it's hindered, mm -hmm. when an import makes it, it's even like it's amplified it in its betterness. It's amplified because it's like, you know, the other one, it was kind of traffic going because of the thing and like, um, yeah. the arms could never lay down because they would always hit the coat because the coat's on right. top of it, you know? And right, so I always right, felt right. kind of cumbersome playing with that figure and posing it. Um, and so now when I just look at this, I know I'm not going to have those issues and that it's just yeah. phenomenal. Yeah, look at, look from these, look, you get little side hips there, you get that up and down, you get straight up and down, right? Yeah, like it's going to, it's going to be nice. It's going to be good. So glad Jubilee's coming up. They're continuing that line too. <laughs> All right, let's take it around the net. Last up here, friends. We're getting a Metal Slug 1 12th scale LV armor mech suit, dude. This thing is going to be big, bulky. I love it. Those tiny legs, I don't know how they're supporting this whole entire figure. Um, but it comes with a lot of cool accessories, too. It comes with, like, effects. Get all the fun things. And I love yeah, the, yeah. the playing homage to the video game, right? I know. I like how it's like the gun is going up and down. Like yeah, the yeah. bullets, the spray is going up and down like you would yeah. in the game that's all it did right it was yeah. a side scroller so really cool uh, even if you're not a metal slug fan like i feel like it's a fun little mech suit here you know this is a little chibi-esque but that's metal slugs kind of vibe but i think it's it's fun man go with this with like a, i don't know I, I would like to see if they if they do if they're making vehicles it'd be cool if they did the tank honestly i would have preferred that like i would have mm. i feel like that that one they should have did the tank first with the treads you know little triangle treads yeah or iconic i think for metal yeah. Come, you know, it doesn't have to be big, right? It's chippy form, so it's nice and compact like this thing is. So, but yeah, this is fun. I like Megs, and so I wanted to throw this in here. Love yeah, you like Megs, and you like yeah. Metal Slug. Yeah, <laughs> it's a perfect, perfect for me, right? All right, friends. Well, I'll go ahead and wrap up our show for today. Thank you all for tuning in. We're going to go ahead and discuss our pick of the weeks. Josh, what are you thinking? What's your pick of the week? Well, now Very we did good just... variety. Very yeah, good had... showing from everybody. I feel like I feel like there's no bad figures this week. I don't know. Let's see. A little lighter because of you know you know you know New York coming right. Home, like we've kind of but... seen maybe like an image of image or two of these, but we're kind of getting better beauty shots of them. Yeah. Let's see. No, I'm sorry. Run it back. Uh, probably. Uh, oh my gosh. What is it? Crab Louie, dude. I'll take Crab Louie any day. <laughs> Crab, I'll go with Crab Louie. Crab Louie. Boy, that's a good pick, mate. All right, Crab Louie for Josh is going to be his pick. I'm going to give it to my girl Jubilee. Jubilee from that Mayfix, man. I love that Mayfix is doing that and can't wait to see what other figures they do. They've been doing a really great job. And Jubilee is no uh, no different in that case. So we'll give it to Jubilee. All right, friends, let us know down below your pick of the week. And as always, keep collecting, keep playing. And may the action figure gods smile upon you. Peace. Peace.